Ecuador looked nice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Lots of shots of Ecuador. I'm looking forward to seeing her. <laughs> now, wind farms have been a part of the landscape here in the East for many years. But now there's something else. Solar farms. A new site at Wilburton near Cambridge is one of the largest in the country, able to power 1,200 homes. It's just been connected to the national grid. Amongst the wheat, a purple haze. Not lilac, not lavender, light is harvested here. A field of photovoltaic solar panels. PV for short. Well, the rest of Europe is obviously very big into solar, and it's one thing that the UK we're going to have to get into to meet the renewable targets that they've got. What the government have said is, we want PV to be here, we want it to be here for a long term, and they've offered then uh, an incentive in terms of for a kilowatt hour to give you sort of uh, some sort of revenue for 25 years, index linked, um, government backed. From above, 20,000 panels over 35 acres, producing enough energy for 1,200 homes. This is the most powerful solar farm in the country. Now the important part of these cells are these little white lines. Now that's silicon which collects the light. That causes a charge which is then collected in these black boxes and sent via cables to the national grid. Wilburton and a factory roof at Beckles in Suffolk. Two big solar sites in the east. So are we better off with solar power or wind? The subsidy for solar is about seven times that of the wind turbines. So it's a dilemma. Do you want wind turbines or do you want more costly renewable energy from solar? Wind farms have triggered protests. Nothing like that here though, say developers. When you can see these things are up to two metres high, they're not moving, they're not making any noise. Um, this site and most sites no one can really see it. Across Germany and other parts of the continent, solar farms like this are commonplace. It's likely more will appear in East Anglia, but are we prepared to pay for them? Mike Cartwright, BBC Look East, Wilburton, near Cambridge.